Hey, first and foremost, I'd like to say, call halal you, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Makakadash, that will honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone taught us this word. Shallow one, salutation to the hopeful elect. I give them out to spread the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth for sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. All right? And feeding the flock. Shallow one, as the scriptures teach us to do. Shallow one to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yahweh Meyer from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, basically coming to you with my another um a lesson, man. You know, in this lesson, you know, I, I you know, it'd be some guys that are, you know, our people, man. You know, they're 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 hell bent. You know, those ones that so called woke, those so called conscious niggas. They, they those are the dumbest ones, man. You know, they even dumber than the nigga that don't know nothing. That's why the scriptures say talk about man. Like, he who thinks he stands, take heed lest he fall, man. These, these niggas don't know anything, man. You know, the the we, the man who knows something knows that he knows nothing at all, man. You know, but see, I, and I've been saying it, and I'm always, I, I, this is my slogan, man. You know, we were murdered for reading this holy Bible, all right? But we were force-fed Christianity daily, man, through our captivities, man. So you don't, but see, what happens is a nigga so-called wake up and scrap the Bible right along with Christianity. Well, here it is. This book ain't the book of the dead. This the book of the living. This ain't the, the Osiris, the papacy, the, the, all that bullshit, that ma'at shit that they believe in, man. And, you know, they the first thing they throw out is throw is a man wrote this. Hey, man, this, this was driven by the holy prophets. That's why the things, the past, present, and future, like the elders and the apostles did that, that history of the world contained in the Bible, they did that serious uh, some years back. Excuse me. They did that serious some years back. And that's of the truth, because the past, present, and future of the world, predominantly the Hebrew Israelites, this rulership, man, you know, the scriptures pre pre predicted the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man, should I say, Esau, Edom, you know, ruling over us, putting the 12 tribes, the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans in captivity, scattering them throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, getting his dominion again, because he had this dominion as the Roman Empire, all right? Then, he, you know, he had this dominion, you know, with uh, Greece, you know, going back to Alexander the Great, you know. Then he came back up after the years during the Renaissance, the, the, the rebirth period. You know, all that was prophesied of back in the Bible, you know. Uh, going going to, um, uh, as, as it, like the scripture says, as it is yet this day we are in our captivity. But nevertheless, man, you can't relate this book to JC Christianity and all that bullshit, you know, that they teach you in uh, church, so-called church, you know, because when you see the prophets gathered together on the highways and the byways and the, and the assembly, that's what real church is, but nevertheless, I'm going to get this, man, this is 2 Corinthians, hey, and if them people don't believe, to hell with them, man, Romans 3 and 3, this is our book, you know, and these prophecies are jumping off the pages, man, you ain't going to find these prophecies in the Quran or any other that other bullshit, man. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. It says, For if he that cometh preacheth another, it says J-E-S-U-S, but we know that the name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. J-E-S-U-S is only 500 years old, man. Hey, and even in the Catholic Church, they tell you to worship J-E-S-U-S, but they, on top of their crucifix, they got the I right there, that Iesus, man. Just like it has in the, um, the 1611 King James Bible. We'll show you that. You know, they got... I R E N I, Aesis of Nazareth, Rex of Emmaus, which is supposed to be Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, King of the Jews, but never the King, you know. But nevertheless, it says, For I, for, for if he that come at 2 Corinthians 11 and 4, for if he that come and preaches another J Yahweh Shai, whom we have not preached, or if he receive another spirit which we have not received, or another gospel which we have not accepted, ye might bear with him. For I suppose that I was not with behind the chiefest of the chiefest of the apostles. So, when when you talking about Christianity, you know, and, and all this 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 BS, that's another Yahweh Shai man. The scriptures clearly tell you that Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, only died for the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, matter of fact, I'm going to get that, but first I'm going to get this, man, because the Lord's reputation was stolen and took it, man, and replaced it. That's why the scriptures tell you in Revelations, he died in that place which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. That's where they crucified us, over here, man, where they crucified the image of our Lord. 
Because we all know that the Lord died in Israel. All right. But nevertheless, I'm going to get this St. John 7. What's that sign? Yeah. This is St. John 7 and verse 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. I'm going to get a couple of scriptures to show you what, what our Lord, you know, you don't relate us to that BS that they kicking in the church, man. The Lord's name ain't about to be smeared over here, man. By you black, conscious, unconscious, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish ass niggas, man. You know? This is Acts 5 and verse 29. It says, Then Peter and the other apostles said, We ought to obey you. How rather than rather than men? But the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior for to give repentance unto Israel and forgiveness of sins. So that lets you know right there that the Lord only died for Israel. Just like when you read in the book of St. John. Hey, baby. When you read, I'm doing the lesson. Get out of here. When you read... In the book of St. John 3 and 16, um, it, it tells you, you know, the world goes after that. For, the, for God so loved the world that he gave his own, only begotten son. But that is talking about the elect of Israel, man, because that's cosmos right there. An orderly arrangement, man. A certain sect of people. Disney World, Sea World. That's why in John 17 and 9, what does he say? He says that, I'm going to read it. What is John 17 and 9, man? The Lord only died for Israel. This is a. Uh, Oh, so lucky. That's St. John 7. This is St. John 17 and verse 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Wow. So who are the people that, that who, who are these people that the Lord gave to you? I shot. Matter of fact, let me, let me pull out a couple classes couple basic scriptures like like the elder Malcolm would say man you draw you could drown them with milk man this is St. John 10 and uh verse 5 it says these 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth the disciples all right the apostles it said and commanded them saying go into the way of the Gentiles Salaki go not into the way of the Gentiles and and into the any of the cities of the Samaritans enter ye not but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. And then when later when Paul got his ministry, that those were still the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because, you know, you have the Gentile nations, which are physically Gentile nations, like Hamites, Africans, which we are not. Edomites, self-proclaimed white people, Moabites, so-called Chinese people, Ishmaelites. All right. So-called Arabs. You know, but then you have our people that were scattered through the diaspora amongst those nations who the apostle Paul went to in the latter days which were also of the lost sheep of the house of Israel alright so the Lord these are the people that the Lord died for matter of fact it's a scripture that I was thinking about Con, it was an Acts it's an Acts as well this is Acts 13 and 26 I think Con, this is Acts 13 and 26 it says men of brethren so this is the this is the apostles in their ministry. All right. This Acts uh, 13 and 26. It says, Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, whosoever among you fear the Yahweh. To him the word to him to you this word of salvation is sent. That's like it says in the uh, book of Joel, whomsoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, he should be saved. That's another cut. The Lord has one name. All right. The Lord said that his name would be one. Okay? He said he would restore to them a pure language. That name is the Hebrew language. All these things beat down Christianity, man. Do not confuse us with them, man. We are the Bible men. We are the prophets. We are the Bible believing church. Not no Pentecostal, Astapolic, Apostolistic, whatever BS, man. You know, they be Baptist. Like John the Baptist wasn't a Baptist. You know? You people are foolish, man. And simple. But the Lord has have blinded them, as it says in the book of Isaiah, man. He has given them um, eyes that they should not see, man. 
and is that they should not hear. This, this book is sealed to them, man, as it, as it tells you in the prophets. That's why Yahweh Shai, when he spoke, he said, He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Because everybody wasn't given the ear to hear. All right, this is Isaiah 29 and 11. It said, And this vision is become, and this. And the vision of all this has become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am unlearned. Wherefore, Yahweh said, For as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth and, and with their lips do honor me, but they have removed their heart far from me. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. All right, because their fear toward the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is taught by the precept of men. You know, going to church on Sunday. Sunday is not the Sabbath. And scriptures clearly tell you that the new moon made the first day of the month. So that was the Sabbath. That was a high holy day. You know, and seven days after that, that's, that's, that's the Sabbath for that month. And to a change, it lets you know that in the book of Samuel. When they, when they had the new moon, Saul said it was the Sabbath. David said he was going to hide uh, uh, to like the third day. So that shows you day one, day two, day three, et cetera, et cetera, man. But they, the, the precept of men, they'll tell you Sunday, with the sun god, they, they'll tell you that's the Sabbath. They'll tell you, oh, don't have sex before you so-called marry. Then you end up living a life of adultery because you don't really understand what marriage is. Or they have you pent up and the demons get on the motherfucker and they, they become a homosexual, man. The church breeds, adult, the so-called church breeds adultery and homosexuality. When the scripture tell you that a man lay with a woman, the two the two shall become one flesh, man. That's what con consummates marriage. You know, the scripture talk about how Isaac took Rebecca in his tent. You know, they did have wedding celebrations, so forth and so on after that. It was an Israelite custom. Hey, I don't know no Israelite, so-called black and Latino and Native American that don't like having a party. Even when you watch them royal pieces, man. You know, uh, uh, with the, uh, the, the, the Anglo-Saxon pieces, man, which means angelic sons of Isaac. So that was our people, you know, ruling Britain, you know, which goes in that word goes into man of the covenant, man. Barack, you know, if I'm pronouncing it right. But when you watch them old ancient, uh, them pieces, man, they, 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 you know, even the, even the people, uh, the common folk loves when they had a party because they know it would be a big feast, man. So, and it would be the only time they had to get around royalty, man, or the, the, the higher up men, you know, that was coughing the king and shit. They'd be their best friend on them wedding days because it was always a party. So we had weddings and customs like that. But sex consummated marriage, man. But the world will tell you different. That precept of man is a motherfucker, man. You know, and our people are being perished for that, man. But, hey, our people perish for lack of knowledge. But those who going to wake up, hey, they're going to wake up, man. Nevertheless, man, don't relate us to that BS Christianity, man. Call the loud, you mean, how about you, me, 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 how about you, me,